Okay, so today we have Isaiah here, and today's the day we're going to film or take pictures of my tarantulas. So this is how we're doing it. So right now he has Reka. Reka is my female Thrixel palma sanulum, which is the cobalt red rump. Now we're doing this outside. So what camera do you have, Isaiah? Right now I'm rocking with the D5500. Okay. And I'm using an, a normal 1855 millimeter. Okay. It's not the Tamron 90 millimeter? No. Okay. That one is used for macro shots. Oh, uh, okay. So you'd use it for slings and all that. Oh, great, right. This one is more for all mm -hmm. general purpose. So here are some shots. Uh, you can't really see that well. So far. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yep. Cool. You know, I just try to like get them in different positions so that it's more unique and all that. Exactly. So the exactly. Standard scrunched in. And uh, these are the same pictures that I will be posting on my Facebook page. So the, the main objective is to first to calm the spider down. Take pictures of. Wow, your specimen's, you know. She's gorgeous, gorgeous yeah. eh? I mean, this is the natural light without. Wow, she's really blue. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I like to try to take them out in, like. Yeah, the natural daylight. Yeah, yeah of, course. Because of course. I hate taking them out with flash because you usually get blues that are like crazy saturated. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I definitely agree. Yeah. Obviously she wants to go on an adventure. Okay, so now he's taking a picture of Nadia. Nadia is my mature female, freshly molted. Nandu chromatis. <laughs> Here, take the paintbrush. It's smaller, it's uh, softer, so don't want to hurt her. You want to take a picture of the threat post? They love to show off since you don't really see the chiller array wide open. There's the master at work. How could we forget this beauty? This Laura, my Gramostola species mall, orange fluff. Look how red she is. This is like how Gramostola rosea red face looks like. Except they have much more red carapace, but that's typically the colors of a rosea. 
even though that this is species small and they're a great, great tea. Okay guys, so we got some nice little shots of my terrestrials. Now it's time to take a little pictures of some of my arboreal teas. So instead of using uh, a pan with some substrate, uh, we got this nice log that I, I loaned from my neighbor. Alright, so instead of the traditional bin with substrate, I just borrowed this big log from my neighbor. So we're going to do some arboreal shots. So we're going to film or take a picture of my female Pocotheria safasca highland. Okay, it's recording. I got it. There we go. Perfect. Now yeah, that's the money shot. We'll leave it, leave it. Just be really Hold careful. Side, For me, when I'm doing my arbors, I usually have a, like this. But my my log, my mini log station, is not as heavy, so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Right. We like these au natural type pictures. Mm -hmm. She's gorgeous. All right, now we're gonna film my Samapoa Serminia. Venezuelan sun tiger. Stop moving. <laughs> she was trying to give you a high five. Yeah. A lot of my spiders too, it takes me like sometimes a good 20 minutes, 30 minutes to take photos of them. I want to get yeah it also doesn't help if it's windy a little bit yeah that yeah, she's gorgeous yeah this is the one that you really couldn't see in the feeding video All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay. Next up is Espa. My hypo yellow morph leopard gecko. Are right, they coming out? Coming out great. Oh, beautiful.
There you go. <laughs> this one is your D5500, right? Mm -hmm. That is his D3000. They're both Nikon, really pristine quality pictures. Yeah, basically with uh, DIY diffuser and uh, F2 macro bracket that allows me to put the flash in any place. Okay, so why did you make this contraption? I guess to block the sunlight? Yeah, it's to uh, it's to diffuse so that you don't get hot flashes. Ah, uh, okay. So it makes the, the light softer on the subject. Right, right, cool. Hang on, hang on, let me just... <laughs> She's so sweet. All right. Hopefully there's your money shot. Perfect. Here is my female Cocotheria vitata, the ghost ornamental. Take some nice pictures of her. Beautiful. And to end off the video, we're doing our last shot with Amy, my hybrid Pokey. Uh, Pocotheria vitata cross ornata, which is called the ghost fringed. That would give a nice uh, little close-up pictures of her. Mm -hmm. So Isaiah, what is your Instagram account? So that way... You can follow me at Isaiah R f underscore photography. Okay, so you're going to give me a link to the uh, your Instagram account and I'll link it to the video description so that way you could follow his Instagram and... Sounds good. Yeah, exactly. Get some nice exposure since you deserve it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nice guys. So, just want to show you guys how we do the photo shoots. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.